Hey everyone, this is Jom from Civil Center and welcome to our channel. As we know, Civil Center is continuously working with the vision to guide civil engineering students and professionals. And for that, we have started this series on Tekla Structures, which is on the verge of completion. So we have already made a steel project. So you can say we have modeled a warehouse and now we have also completed the GA drawing. So in the GA drawings, there are just two settings that are left to discuss and that is the vertical dimensioning and the uh, three dimensions. Okay, so these are the two things that we are going to discuss in today's class. So in the last class, we have discussed about the horizontal dimensioning. So if you haven't uh, seen the last class, then you can simply go ahead and watch the videos of the last class and you will get to know about that. So okay, so I am just going to discuss the vertical dimension and for that I am deleting a few things over here because these are not needed now. Okay. Uh, if you want to know what are these things, then you can just go ahead and watch the previous videos on our YouTube channel related to this particular software and you will simply find them. Okay, so you can see over here, this is the dimensioning. So we have to open the GA drawing and then we have to go to dimensioning and over there you will find the option of the vertical. All you have to do is to just go ahead and find the points on the vertical grounds. Okay, so what I'm going to do, I'm just going to select the points over here on the vertical okay and then you can see the dimensioning will be marked okay so like this you can mark the dimensions over here so what you have to do you have to just press the middle button or you can say the scroll button of your mouse and you will see that the dimensions are properly placed over here so you can see <clears throat> over here this is 6500 why this is happening like this because i am taking it from minus 500 to 6000 and then here we have a gap of 1200 okay so that happens because these two grid lines are located at 6000 and 7200 respectively that means they are having a gap of 1200 okay so you can see everything is accurate now now what we have to do we have to just look for the different uh, settings that are there in the dimensions so in the last class i have uh, said that we will discuss about the dimension properties box and over here you can see we can go ahead with the all the things uh, that we have followed in the horizontal in the same manner okay so you can see each and everything is same and you can simply go ahead and make the changes i will also make the changes from here so that it can be quick okay so these are the two things that can you be seen from here so all the settings are same as the uh, like uh, horizontal dimensions just a few things that i have not discussed in the last class was the appearance okay so you can change the color of the dimensions according to your needs so you can see whenever i am selecting the colors it is being changed on the left side okay that means over here okay so you can go for any color that you like okay or that is clearly visible in your drawing okay so i am just going with the blue color over here okay just to to keep it uh, quite good okay and then we can go with the relative okay so this is better to show the dimension the inside and outside have already been discussed in the previous uh, classes and then you can also go for like different types of the fonts okay like if you want to go with this font then you can also go with this font or you can just change the font like this okay so whatever is your requirement you can simply go ahead and change like that okay now the next thing is about the format okay so the format is also over here so you can just go ahead and check the formats from there also okay like if you want to go ahead with this format then you can go like this or you can go like this okay so whatever is your requirement you can simply go ahead so this is the quick setting tool so i am just making the changes over here that i have not discussed in the previous class okay so that's why i'm elaborating it over here now the next thing is about the experience that i have to discuss so this will open up when we have to uh, double click on the dimensions that are present over here so whatever you have to change in the tecla structure you have to just double click on that and the dialog box that is respected to that will be open up okay so now i have to change the property so you can see how i can change the color so a color can be done then the opaque or transparent background can be uh, given the height was not over there in the quick settings because uh, that is something a little complex okay so you can change the height from here like if you want to increase the height to four or say uh, six and then you can simply set the height to six and click on modify and you will see the dimension height has been changed same thing you can do for the like uh, aerial or whatever uh, 
the font you want to go you can just go from here we have already seen that then comes the frames okay so in the frames you can go with this frame or you can go with the other frames also okay whatever you like you can simply go ahead and select from here like uh, over here you can see i have uh, selected a rectangular frame over here over here we have selected this type of frame okay so you can just go ahead and select this frame also there is no issue so you can change the frame from here okay so that can be clear next thing is the color of the arrow okay so over here this is the arrow that you can see and it is in the black color so you can just change the color of the arrow too okay so all you have to do is to change the color from here and then click on modify then you can also change the shape of the arrow okay now you can see the arrows are visible over here but these are in the this shape so it is quite uh, like not clearly visible so you can just increase the size of the arrow instead of 1 and 2.5 you can just go ahead with 4 and 4 and you can see now the arrows are clearly visible so like this you can make the changes in the dimensioning and uh, it will just uh, solve your issue of the dimensioning and you will have a lot to uh, do on these things the same thing you can do uh, uh, for the marks okay so you can see we have the marks over here then we have the tags then we have the rebars so whenever you have to also change there are options of doing all these things also so guys i think uh, uh this is the second last class and if you want to join the professional training of tech life structures then you can simply go ahead and whatsapp or, or call on the number that is given on the screen and we will be there to assist you okay now Till then, keep practicing and keep learning. In the next class, we are going to discuss about uh, the uh, third option and that will be the last class for this series. So if you have any kind of question, you can simply write that in the comment section. If you like our video, then hit the like button, share it with your friends and colleagues and subscribe to our channel. And in the uh, next class, we will talk about the ad free dimensions and uh, how we can also insert the notes and everything that will be also covered in the next class. Till then, take care. Bye bye. Thank you.